Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to start a new topic that is endodontic anatomy or anatomy of the pulp cavity of the permanent maxillary central incisor. So let's begin this uh, video lecture. So this is the mesiodistal section of the permanent maxillary central incisor. What we are going to do uh, first, we will discuss the endodontic anatomy from the in a mesiodistal section. So, in a mesiodistal section, the pulp chamber, the top of the pulp chamber, it comprises of three pulp horns. So, there are three pulp horns, and these pulp horns uh, they correspond to the mamelons that are present in a newly erupted incisor tooth. The pulp chamber. It follows the outline of the crown, follows the outline of the crown. So it is widest at the incisal area. Here it is widest and it is narrow at the cervical portion of the crown. Now this tooth, it has a single root canal that tapered towards the apical foramen and it may either curve in a distal direction or in a labial direction. So this tooth, uh, it has, uh, in summary, this tooth from the lab from the mesiodistal aspect, this tooth has three pulp horns, and it has a single root canal. So I have colored it completely with the red color. Now we will discuss uh, the endodontic anatomy because this tooth has a single uh, root canal. So we will only discuss it, the labial lingual section. So this is the labial lingual section. Labial lingual section or in other words, this is a section of the tooth, outline of the tooth from the mesial aspect. So let's discuss the endodontic anatomy from the how the and how the root canal and the pulp chamber it appears uh, from the mesial aspect so the pulp chamber it tapers towards the towards the incisal area so towards the incisal area it tapers towards the incisal it tapers towards the incisal area and the remaining pulp chamber, it follows the outline of the crown. It follows the outline of the crown. And then there's a constriction over here. And there's a single pulp canal. There's a single pulp canal. How the tooth it appear in a, a cervical and mid root section. So if we cut the section of the tooth in this area, as you can see in the arrow, so the cervical, the outline of the root is triangular. Let me draw the outline of the root. So this is the labial part, and this is the lingual part. So at this at this cervical area of the root, the pulp cavity is the lingual aspect. In the apical portion, as you can see in the arrow here, in the apical section, the root it is appears like this. In the canal it is round to oval in shape. And this is the configuration of the canal in the apical portion of the root. Now, uh, 
with age, uh, there is change in the size of the pulp cavity because of deposition of the secondary dentine and sometimes because of the deposition of the tertiary dentine. So let's see what are the age changes in the pulp cavity of a permanent maxillary central incisor. So I'm using purple color. So color to indicate uh, what are the age changes actually the pulp do not turn into a purple color it remains red though the number of cells and the blood vessels they reduce so the pulp horns they disappear and the size of the pulp chamber it also reduces significantly clearly canals they also taper Uh, the blue color it indicates that uh, the age the size of the pulp cavity both pulp chamber and the canal in an older patient and red color it indicates that indicates the pulp chamber of a young or a newly erupted tooth so in a in a labial lingual section similar changes are observed purple color so this is a purple color This is how the size of the pulp chamber it becomes and the canal it becomes in a meso in a labial angle section. Now, section at the cervical area it become become more oval in size, become more oval in size rather than a triangular one because of the deposition of the secondary dentine. Similarly, the apical area had become rounded with more smaller diameter. So, because of these changes in the pulp cavity at age, locating the canal, it become more difficult uh, with advancing age. So, this is all about the endodontic anatomy of the maxillary central incisor. So do follow our Instagram account for questions, images, and feed and flashcards. Do give us your feedback in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and stay blessed.